Hello everybody, it's Pixelated Apollo. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to another online battle of Medieval 2 Total War. This is a 1v1 pitch battle on the Teutonic expansion. And before we get into this battle, I have a couple of quick announcements. The first announcement is that I'm gonna have to delay the, two, the uh, siege battle, the uh, destroyer of worlds, because I kind of bit off more than I could chew. I've got a lot going on, especially this website that I'm trying to finish, the website that you guys donated for. So I have to sacrifice something and I'm gonna ha I'm gonna sacrifice the tournament. I'm gonna push it a month or so. We're still gonna have it. We just have to push it to a later date. Also, I'm gonna make less videos a week. I usually make about one every day. So that's about seven a week. I will only make about four or five a week just to give me extra time to work on this website because it is a lot of work and I really wanna put a lot of effort in it so I can make it nice and uh, nice and awesome for you guys. So I'm super excited about that. And on that note, I think we can go ahead and start this insane battle. We'll go ahead and do some slow-mo so I can get a nice intro in because this battle starts off pretty quick. So uh, anyways, we've got huge scale, huge scale units here, 120 in, in each uh, infantry unit here. 120 archers, 120 chivalric knights, and the money was 15k. That is a ridiculous, ridiculous amount for a 1v1. So I wasn't really sure how to spend my money. But anyways, I'm playing as Norway, and mostly my army consists of heavy infantry. The rules for the rules for this battle was no artillery, no guns, max five cav, so a little less cav than usual. So yeah, um, and uh, this is funny, I made a big mistake here. I got five units of Shiverick Knights, that's just money down the drain. Because if you spend, or if you get more than four of a unit, you, you spend extra cash. And this unit had upgrades and experience upgrades, so that cost so much money and I didn't really spend my money wisely. Now this map over here is so awkward, the terrain is so awkward, but it's kind of cool because you don't really see it too often. So this is kind of looking like a big skirmish battle. So let's check out my opponent. By the way, my opponent, his name is Narcissus. He donated money to the um, website slash podcast, so thank you so much for the donation. And I hope I can build you an awesome website. So he's playing as Lithuania, and he's got a nice balanced army here. He's not spending too much on his archers. He's got some cheap ar archers here, but he's got a lot of them. He's got a lot of nice infantry. And he's got some uh, very good cav. Heavily upgraded cav. Heavily, heavily, heavily upgraded. <laughs> he's got, you know, armor, experience, all the way maxed out. So this cav this is some deadly cav. Alright, so we can... We can go ahead and do normal speed. So we're we're pushing up our archers, but he's got a nice terrain here. My terrain's a little loopy, and you see this hill and stuff. I couldn't really stretch out my men here too, too nicely. So most of them were not even firing back. They just weren't in range, except for uh, this one unit here. Let's see, they barely get in range. And the crappy thing about this is that his archers are cheaper, so. I'm losing more money than he is, even if I'm even if I'm firing back. Uh, though he's not really getting a lot of kills because these uh, Norse archers are pretty tough to kill. And over here, I moved over my calf to to uh, meet his calf to match his calf. And then I sent one unit of Huskarls over here because I was like, you know what, this hill is freaking awesome. I'm gonna claim it for Norway. Put a flag on it. That's how you claim things. You gotta put a flag on it. So there's my Huskarls, just, you know, no reasons at all. Just going up a hill, claiming it. Claiming it for mine. And then I've got a unit of Got Gotland Footmen to go over there and support them. I noticed, I noticed that he has uh, some Shivrick Knights headed that way. So I'm going to send some extra infantry to support my Huskarls. So this is where I charge in my Cav. And this is it. It's, it's either make it or break it. This rush attack... Either I will, it will be a huge success or a complete failure. And for this moment, this exact moment, actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and pause it. We need epic music for this charge. So, uh, Jim, can you go ahead and uh, put on that epic music? Alrighty, thanks, buddy. Thanks for putting on that music. So here we go, epic cab charge. 
right into his Shivrick Knights. And I didn't realize at the time, but my Shivrick Knights are outmatched. Completely outmatched. Just based on the uh, upgrades. And then here comes my heavy infantry to follow up and support my cav. And this is like storming the beaches on D-Day. I can't go up this, unfortunately, and he's just gonna be able to fire down at my heavy infantry. So my flank is kinda exposed to archer fire right now. I'm retreating my cav, or trying to retreat my cav, and trying to get my heavy infantry into the fight. He makes a smart decision by retreating his Shivrick Knights. And he's gonna group up his cav over here. And look at this, my cap break. He's holding me back with some Jiltines chosen. And he's sending down some reinforcements here. Shivrick Knights to the rescue. Oh. And here comes another flanking charge into my heavy infantry. I had some reserves for him though. And uh, you know what, the charge is pretty much over. So uh, Jim, can you uh, turn off that music please? Thank you. So he's got his men like right in front of my archers. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire my Norse archer like point blank into his men with fire arrows. But this is really not the best situation. Why? Because his cav is kicking my cav's ass. And you don't really want to lose your flanks when you're rushing. And that's exactly what's happening here. He is breaking through. I have to commit my general into the cav fight because I just can't hold the flank with just my cav alone. And the infantry fight, this is brutal, guys. This is absolutely brutal. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on. We look very similar. But look at look at the archer fire. <laughs> right into the flank of these bastards. And then over here, he's got more calf flanking around. He's got some Shivrick Knights. Um, looks like one unit of Shivrick Knights going after my Norse archers. I've got my Norse archers uh, positioned right here, trying to fight back his heavy infantry. And then over here, we've got a little uh, two-handed weapon fight for this hill. He's trying to take this damn hill away from me. And here comes the archers. I'm trying to focus down his cav with my archers, but I'm not having any luck. And the fight continues on. My general is trying to save the flank of my army, but look at this. Look at the Shivrick Knights, they look untouched. Uh, they're gonna go charging right into my my heavy infantry And look at this they're getting shot at from the flank, and I've got men breaking from the front lines and I'm trying to keep his cav contained just so he won't attack the flank of my army And I'm retreating some feudal knights to help fight off this cav to help the general But this is just a massive brawl Massive, massive brawl. And now I'm charging my Norse archers. Because I'm kind of... I'm in a desperate situation and I need him to break. Yes, we lost half of our army so far. And there goes a beautiful hammer and anvil strike right in the backs of my men. And... My general is completely surrounded. I'm sending up some archers to save the general. This is the kind of situation we're in. Sending archers to save the general is never a good thing. And I'm just hoping my infantry will hold. You know, my infantry has a bit more experience than his does, but you know, he's outflanking me, so I really can't do anything about it. Upgrades will only take you so far. Here's some axemen going after my archers. And the cav is just running wild at this point. My general escapes. He's the only one left in his unit. Look at this. 
I'm trying to keep him alive just to give my men that extra morale. And here comes another handvil, hammer and anvil strike with his shiver knights and his general's bodyguard. And they break. And that was really the final blow there. So, uh, yeah. You know that whole make or break charge there? Well, that was a break. That was a terrible rush assault. I am very bad at rushing and pitch battles. And I think my main issue is that I got a little bit too impatient. So, you know what? Hang on. You know what? This part, let's go ahead and uh, turn down the game music. Hang on. And uh, Jim, can you uh, play us some sad music? Because this rush battle is uh, pretty sad. This this rush tactic was a complete failure. So here you go, guys. I'm just going to stop talking and let this soak in. Oh, by the way, Jim is like my uh, DJ here. So anyways, carry on. All right, all right. That's enough. That's enough of that music. So, uh, <laughs> so a little fun there, but uh, yeah, that was that was a really really bad battle on my part. Um, just I, I guess I mean one thing: if you're gonna rush, have a rush army. I spent a lot of money on those archers. Plus, I made that mistake on getting too much shivrick knights, so I spent a lot of money on that. And I, always remember, guys. Cav is king in this game. If you don't have good Cav, you're going to suffer. So make sure you invest some money into some good Cav and make sure you keep your Cav alive throughout the battle. And that was really my my uh, biggest um, mistake there is just my Cav just outmatched. I went in there unsupported. And if your Cav is outmatched, what you want to do is use your infantry to help you fight off the enemy Cav. And I really didn't time that well. So good use of the terrain by my opponent. Uh, he did a great job holding his ground and he is victorious. He also got a lot of great hammer and anvil strikes. So good battle to you. Um, I killed only 900, which seems like a lot, but not on huge scale. So uh, if we look at the final results here, um, let's see, I got 100 kills with my Norse archers, which is pretty good. 121 by another Norse archer. And that's, let's see, Shivrick Knight's 83 right here. So overall, just my army, my army suffered because of my Cav, my Cav tactics. So I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. It was a lot of fun. And once again, thank you for donating, Narciss. And I will see you on the flip side.